Chris Rogers here from Channel Insider Canada and I'm going to show you how you can have some quick fun with a couple of apps from Adobe that are available now in the App Store. So the first one is Adobe Nav and what it does is connect with CS 5.5 and allows you to use uh, the Photoshop navigation toolbar on your iPad. So it doesn't fully replace the toolbar but uh, it is kind of interesting to use, and it's uh, kind of convenient for some of the, the lesser used the, the lesser used options. But I don't ultimately think it'll replace uh, using keyboard shortcuts. But you set it up using uh, a wireless connection. Notice my iPad's not connected to, uh, not hard connected to my uh, to my computer. You do create uh, your own connection, and the the application will walk you through everything. This is. Uh, Photoshop CS5 extended. Um, it only works with CS5. And so it does give you access to tools like uh, Move Tool, Select Tool, uh, Magic Wand, but it also lets you customize which of the tools you use. So if you use uh, elliptical selection more than rectangular, you can uh, get rid of the rectangle selection and move the ellipse in there instead. Now I use quick selection sometimes, more than I use magic wand. So I'm going to move that quick selection up there. And I tend to use crop a lot, so I'm going to get rid of the ruler tool and move crop in there. And when I'm done, it selects. Now it doesn't show the, uh, the nested uh, tools, so if I hold down the elliptical selection tool, it doesn't come up with any of the nested tools. So you are going to have to customize which uh, 16 tools you use most, but they are easily changed. So it, this tool, Nav, also allows you to add a photo and allows you to add a new document, select an image, or take a photo. And the image actually, the select image actually comes from the images that are stored on your iPad. Let's take a new photo. This is kind of interesting. It lets you use the iPad 2's front or back camera, so we'll take a picture. And we'll use that. And as you can see, it appears right away in Photoshop 5. So let's switch back to the Nav tool. And let's say we wanted to crop that. We can select the Crop tool, and automatically it will come up in CS5. And we can crop that out. There we go and select that. And it's as easy as that. Now another thing that it lets you do is, I mean, is lets you select a screen mode. So there's the full screen with the, uh, with the backdrop. Another full screen, removing all the toolbars, and then the regular view. And the actual pixel size won't show up right now because that's the actual pixels for that camera size, but if I move this down to 50%, for larger image sizes that have to scale to fit your screen, you can select the actual pixels and it will show the full 100% pixel size. So that's Nav. We'll go back to the home screen. 